Hi. Now, in this next part, we're asked to work out a measure of skewness. We're told that one measure of skewness then is three times all of the mean minus the median, and then that's divided by the standard deviation. And we've got to use this measure then to calculate the skewness for these data and describe its value. So if this is something you'd like to try, just give you a moment to pause the video, okay? Okay, so let's see how you got on. Well, first of all, what we've got to do is just remind ourselves in the, from the previous parts what the mean and median and standard deviation were. And we've got these values here, okay? Median was 276.3636 and so on. The mean was 316 and the standard deviation was 157.073 and so on. So it's just a simple case then of substituting these values into the formula. But it's also interpreting the result that we get. So when it comes to working out that skewness, we've got three times the mean, which is 316, minus the median, which is 276.3636, and so on. And then all of this is divided by the standard deviation, which is 157.073, and so on. Work this out, and what you get is that it equals 0 0.7570, and so on. Now what we've got here is a positive value. So what we have got then is therefore positive skew. It's not a great positive value. If it had equaled zero, then it would have been a symmetrical distribution. So it's only a little above um, zero. So you could argue we've got slight positive skew at this point. But there you go. That's uh, what we've got.